Okay, welcome to another shop talk. We're doing some spraying today of the metal. Let's have a look with two pack water base. This is an undercoat and it just looks incredible. Using this two pack Aqua Pure. Uh, if you speak to Rob, this is the website. I'll put a link in description. Uh, not much of a spray expert. We had the non-pressurized gun. Rob sold us this gun as well. And actually they set it up for you if you ask them. So you don't have to touch any settings. We plugged it in. This is a really thick, you can use it on wood. I've got a wood version, got a metal version. They're all water-based. So really good for us at the moment without any uh, extraction in here. There's no fumes or anything. It dries absolutely solid. The last time you saw me using this stuff, we did a roller, but now we've got the spray gun working. Uh, as I say, it's just got a turnkey really. Rob delivered it, um, all working, tested, plugged it in and that's it. You weigh it out 20%. So I use my scales the same as I do with resin. So 20%, this is the hardener and this is the primer. So tomorrow we'll do the top coat, which uh, Rob, again, they mix the color for me and the primer and the top coat, exactly the same color, which is really helpful. Uh, so that's, that's great. I'm looking forward to getting these benches finished. This one's gonna have a solid slab through the middle. This one is gonna rely on slats all the way around to hold it. That's the two sides, they're both the same. Um, and if it looks really good, there's gonna be a table like this as well next week, hopefully for an outdoor bench table. Still working on this table here. It is finished, as is the base, but I'm just experimenting with some polishing. Unfortunately, you've just caught it as I've made it matte again. It was completely clear, and I'm just still not sure about it being completely clear. But what I have done, which I'm loving, is I molded it in two goes. So I did a pass on the top, or pass on the side with this one. This is the gray metallic with black. People keep asking. I do mix it myself. You can get the individual pigments. I mix black and silver metallic anyway i wasn't really enjoying this being completely clear and that being great it looked a bit odd so i turned the table on its side as you show you a clip and i recast some glass cast three down the end and it's i really really like it the joint is absolutely Superb. I mean, it's a shame, as I say, it's a shame I've just sanded this to a mat again to experiment, but you'll see it gloss at some point. And this cast on the end is really killer. Check that out. I absolutely love that. So it's a very labor intensive process, as you can imagine, because this was polished down, then cast that with masking tape and then have to repolish the joint and then very, very carefully polish this edge, which is polished with, not with a router, but it's actually polished, um, sorry, not with a round over bit, but it's actually polished round with sandpaper. Now what I did do is I got this new experimental bit from Tipman, this flush trim bit, super, super sharp. It's kind of designed for more composite materials than wood. So what you'll see in the, when I did the round over, sorry, what you'll see when I did the cast is as you mask it off a few mil either side, you'll get, this will be dead flat because this is glass cast. So I've got the table dead flat. This will, center will be flat, but you'll get the kind of resin following up to the edge of the tapes. So you get that kind of uh, curved effect. So I first flattened this off completely flat. And then you can put one of these on and you can use it to, as you can see, you can use it to, be guided off the center, which we know is level and flat, it's glass cast. And then that took the cup off. Wasn't much chipping, which is pretty cool. And then the rest was done with sandpaper, so that's pretty good. And then the barn. Now it needs an organization. We could possibly do a little bit more later today, but the other racking's up, which is cool. I just ordered some new, some more uh, arms or fingers, whatever you want to call it. So that one can go up. And this one's pretty much full now. So one of the reasons I put this racking in is if you look at the heat down here, it's like 25 on that slab, 24, 25. If we look at the heat up there, it's 28. So you can see how that's really gonna help my air drying. I do think that I'm gonna be knocking like a year off, especially on those top slabs. There's a really good airflow in here. That's open, the back's open. 
and uh, it's just going to be perfect for drying the slab. So I'm really pleased with uh, with how that how that's going. I mean, all the all the timber from the floor's gone, and I've still got all of that free. That's how much you get on a, on these racks, which is why I did it. This stuff I'm going to put right up there, flat on the top. That's going to go up there, possibly when I get these arms next week. And the first attempt at the floor, the idea wasn't particularly to make this dead level because the barn just isn't level, but um, it's just to make it good enough for this thing to run on it. And at the moment, it's looking pretty good. It needs to dry because it's really dark because there's no sun in here. It should be this light gray. So it's quite a deep pour. Did it three or four times with um, in layers with the uh, whacker plate. I'm trying to get a little roller. Some One of the farmer's sons has got a roller, so I'm trying to hire that for an hour or so just to give this a real pound in. Okay, that's it for this week's shop talk. I hope you found that interesting. That's the last video you'll be glad to hear on following my journey through doing my racking in my barn, sorting my barn out. Um, I will just come back to it and just show you when it's all done in a few weeks when it gets there. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for all your support. Loads of new Patreons, which is really good. Thanks so much, I do appreciate that a lot. Uh, there'll be a lot more videos coming once I get kind of more organized again. Um, also my new channel, don't forget, uh, Manor Wood Designs. I'll put a link in the description. That's the kind of short version. The table, you've seen that'll appear there first where it's just no, uh, not behind the scenes stuff and uh, shop talk, it's more uh, just watch it being built, a couple of minutes. It's all to do with the marketing for Manor Wood that I'm working on. So hopefully I'll see you over there. We've got 1,100 subscribers already. It's two weeks old, the channel, so I'm really pleased with that. Thank you all to the subscribers over there. Until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye.